Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Studio. Today I'm going to be recapping and reviewing Riverdale Season 1 Episodes 2 and 3. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, before I get started, just a couple quick announcements to say. First of all, if you can please subscribe, I'll really appreciate it. I'm trying to reach a goal of hitting 200 subscribers before the end of 2020. I think that we can accomplish this goal pretty easily. Also, if you can please subscribe to Movie Studio Gang, Instagram, Twitch, and Patreon, I'll really appreciate it. Without With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so, um, this is breaking it up into two parts, episode two and episode three. This is how the schedule had to work out so I can get season one done in time, so then I can do other shows starting in October. So, um, episode two, this episode focused on the Archie, Betty, Veronica, Love Triangle. Uh, there is a big mess between the three of them, but they are all friends by the end of the episode. Um, I liked this episode, but I wasn't a big fan of the storyline because this kind of confirmed all Archie and Betty stuff for good, because we know later on in the series that... There's hints of them, but they really don't do much with them. So now, uh, this is kind of kind of I thought where it shuts off, and they all become friends. But even though there's like still a mess between them later on, now is the time where it kind of shuts off. But of course, there's still hints in the future. But now is kind of like the beginning of the end, if that makes any sense, or the end of the beginning. Um, the beginning of the end. Uh, we'll talk. Let's talk about Jason's death for a second. It's still a big mystery in Riverdale. Cheryl gets arrested at the end of the episode. It's proven that Jason died on July 11th instead of July 4th. This is going to be my most shocking moment. So stay tuned for that. Also, Riverdale High's first football game takes place, and Archie and Miss Granny rekindle their illegal romance, which I do not like. I do not like them together at all. And Archie and Jack have become bros again. Uh, sorry, I'm getting through this kind of quickly. I am really tired, and I want to head to bed. So. Um, but this episode, I really liked it. I liked pretty much every part of it. So if you guys can, uh, give your thoughts on it down below, I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get to my, uh, awards for episode two. So my favorite moment is the ending scene in Pops. Most shocking moment is Jason's autopsy proving he died a week later. Favorite characters, Archie, Betty, Veronica, and Jughead. Least favorite characters, Moose and Miss Grundy. I don't like Moose because of what he did to Kevin and Miss Grundy because she's going to be my least favorite character for for every um, episode. Um, my overall grade is an A minus, not as good as the first episode, but still good. Okay, uh, now we're going to talk about um, my overall thoughts for episode three. So in this episode, Cheryl claimed she didn't kill Jason, but she was hiding something. Jason didn't die in the water; he died somewhere else. So, we don't really know where he died yet, but we do know that they got to the other side of Sweetwater River before, and they parted ways before this happened. So, that is a major detail. So, Cheryl lied to, to the authorities about this, and this is a pretty big note that I'm writing down in the um, my notes. Uh, it should be overlooked, and that the fact that Jason died a week later isn't does kind of really cancels the July 4th suspicion, and all the, like, the Dilton Doily, but I'll get to that in a second. Um... I kind of want to talk about Archie's storyline. Meanwhile, Archie practices music with Josie after, after being grounded by Fred. He struggles to attend a school event. And they do eventually make it. He does sneak out by the end of the episode. But I love these father-son storylines. I like Archie and Fred as father-son. Here's the only time where they really get tested at each other. Other times it's between Archie and his mom. Here they really get tested at each other. Because we really don't get that later in the series. Fred does die later on. Luke Perry. But, um... I do like Archie's side of music, and I think that Josie, hel Josie with him really helps out, and Valerie. Josie and Archie, I do like them together late in the series, but right now, I, I like their little flirtation dynamic here. I also love that Cheryl is willing to do Archie a favor, and I also love how they're kind of being flirty with each other again, too. Um, Buddy and Jack had also investigate the school paper, and they interviewed Dil Dilton. This storyline, I liked. This is kind of the beginning of Betty and Jughead's friendship. I think that they work well together. They have a lot not they have a lot on uh, and they don't have a lot a lot in common but they do really like investigating and they like writing and i feel like that's what ties them together and i'm and they of course they get together later on but here you can kind of share the hints um i also love how betty and cheryl's stories were able to tie together um and Jason was able, to, was able to be inserted in the story i liked how cheryl was more also involved in this episode instead of just being like that that like I don't know, that's just that rude person is always walking by and all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty, and the last storyline of the episode is between Veronica and Chuck. So they form unlikely alliances when Chuck slut shames Veronica, and this was a very important storyline, definitely. It's very, it's very rough. It's like very, very rough. So, um, yeah, if you guys can comment down below your feelings about this episode, I really appreciate it. 
Um, these two episodes together, if you're asking me which one I liked better, I like them both. Um, I feel like the stories definitely tied in together good. This episode introduced some new stories. Archie, uh, music, who was more involved, the school paper, and slut shaming, and Jason's mystery is going to be kind of ongoing. I think that these two episodes really dove into the mystery, and Archie and Miss Grundy also kind of, like, broke up, you can call it, or they just decided to kind of, like, cool things down, which I'm glad, because I do not like them together at all. I think I've already said that tons of times, but, um, yeah, if you guys can give your feelings about, uh, episodes one, and two episodes two and three are really appreciated. Okay, so let me talk about some episode awards for episode um two. Well, no, no episode three. Um, so I've tried out most shocking moment and least favorite moment for different ones. So my favorite moment is the Taster Reveal performance. I I really miss the Pussycats later in the series. We do get to see them in Katie Keen, but not the originals, the OGs. So here I love getting to see every performance we get, and we get to see. A decent amount of performances between them. Episode 2, Episode 3, Episode 6, Episode um, episode 13, and a lot more. Um, my least favorite moment is definitely what Chuck did to Veronica. That was uh, not a good thing to do, and I definitely looked down on Chuck for that. He kind of redeems his light, himself later on, but I don't like that. Favorite characters, Betty, Veronica, Jughead. Least favorite characters, Archie and Miss Grundy. Overall grade A, better than Episode 2, but not as good as Episode 1. Anyways, that is going to kind of be the end of my video. If you can give your episode awards down below, you can even make your own up. Things I could do in the future are really appreciated. If you can please leave a like on this video, I will also really appreciate it because that lets me know that you guys like the videos that I'm doing. Um, if, if you can also give me video ideas down below, I really appreciate it. I have new videos coming now, and they're going to be doing mostly daily instead of what I'm typically what I typically do. Um, anyway, and, and again, if you can follow me on my socials down below, I'm Mr. Duke Gang, Instagram, Patreon, and Twitch, I'll really appreciate it, so then I can get it out there, and I really like, I really like doing that. Anyways, um, also, um, if you can, again, video ideas down below, and if you can please engage with what my videos, I will appreciate it, and even if you support me on Patreon, I really appreciate it, because you can get early content there. Anyways, again, I want to thank everyone for watching the studio. Like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Again, I want to thank everyone for watching the studio. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks everyone for watching, and bye.